Krista Kotlipi tried on her first wedding dress this Valentine's Day, not in a bridal boutique, but in a back room at the Fairlawn Public Library. I've been wanting to go vintage dress shopping and kind of maybe thrift my dress. I just got engaged a couple months ago, and I also love libraries, so it was like seemed like the perfect fit. She came to browse a vintage wedding dress collection belonging to library director Adele Puccio, whose love for wedding dresses started as a child. My great aunt was a buyer at Kleinfeld's when I was a little girl. Adele has been collecting vintage wedding dresses for years, spanning from the 1940s to the 1990s. She loans them to any bride to be who wants one. And unlike a library book, there's no fine if you don't return it. If a bride falls in love with her dress, she can have it. It's her dress. Several brides have done just that, including Paula Rossello in 2003 and a Stephanie Soler 20 years later. It fit like a glove and I was like, you know what? I'm going to get this dress. I'm going to wear it. So it just felt very um, like it was meant for me. I was so happy. I, I cried. I mean, I felt like a million dollars. Adele says she's starting to receive requests from brides in other states. Her collection of roughly 30 gowns is growing as well. Joan Heffler stopped by the library to donate her wedding dress, which was once her mother's. It has beautiful hopes and dreams in it. And I hope that somebody has beautiful hopes and dreams when they wear it. And finding new homes for beautiful dresses fills Adele with satisfaction. I think that everybody should feel beautiful on their wedding day. And I'm just happy to try and be a small part of that.